Hunk 6.0 Technical Session. Hunk was created to help Hadoop users create analytics, visualization, dashboards on top of Hadoop data stores. In addition, in Hunk 6.1, we also added a feature that allows um, data stores like Cassandra, MongoDB, HBase, um, and a few others to also be the data store for Hunk. The five things that make Hunk very unique are number one, it runs natively in Hadoop. In other words, we in Splunk, we translate the Splunk query language to Hadoop MapReduce jobs. Number two, we allow you to interact with Hadoop in a mixed mode. In other words, you can see data preview and see subset of the data fairly quickly. Number three is we allow you to see indexing on the fly where we will let every single data node generate an index data and you as a user that interact with that data can see statistics based on key and value pairs on the fly. And number four is access control where we will allow many users access Hunk from the UI as well as the support for Cobros and protect different virtual indexes which basically translate to protect Hadoop directories and the last thing is schema on the fly it's the ability to go in and without knowing what the data looks like beforehand Splunk and Hunk will understand the data on the fly to see Hunk in action, we're going to log into the Hunk UI. And under the settings on the upper right corner, we're going to go into the virtual indexes link, which is slightly different than the normal Splunk indexes link. So we click on the virtual indexes. And in here, we will see a few sub tabs including the providers which are the connection to Hadoop as well as the virtual indexes which are the Hadoop directories that we're going to query. Looking at the providers let's just open one of those and we can see the different settings that Hunk allows us to connect to Hadoop including the ability to connect to Yarn ability to connect to Hadoop 1 ML1, Hadoop 2 ML1, the need to uh, provide, um, for example, in this case, the uh, HDFS name node, in the case of Yarn, the resource manager or the resource scheduler address. There is the need for the Splunk uh, proprietary HDFS directory that we're going to do a lot of the uh, uh, elements that we described earlier like the mix mode and the indexing on the fly and a few other features as well as all the different configurations that we need to pass to Hadoop including for example the, uh, the Splunk MR that will allow us to translate this Splunk query language to Hadoop map streaming jobs and so on and so forth so this kind of allows us this kind of settings allows us to do uh, all the Hadoop native execution and underneath the virtual indexes we are going to look specifically at several different examples in this demonstration including the orders and the orders link means that every time I go into the Splunk UI and I type X equals orders in the Hunk UI Hunk will connect using one of the available providers to a specific Hadoop directories. In this case, I'm going to go into user Splunk orders and pull in from Hadoop a JSON file into the Hunk environment. So to highlight this particular file from Hadoop, if we go into um, Hadoop U user Splunk orders we can see that same JSON file residing in HDFS. So to start the, the runtime of Hunk 
we go in, find our orders virtual index, it's right here, and we click on the search underneath action, and that will allow Hunk to go into Hadoop, query Hadoop, query the specific HDFS directory, and start streaming the data from Hadoop to Hunk. As we can see, the ability of Hunk to index data on the fly can be very beneficial to end users. For example, we can see that the items, the JSON items, can be expanded. Uh, we can see that items have a sub a field called category. We can also see that same items, that category, right here on the left side where Hunk automatically has the ability to take that raw data, extract that, and then give us statistics about that raw data on the fly as the data get streamed in. Uh, that indexing on the fly is a very powerful tool that then allows end users to go in and build very sophisticated analytics using those key value pairs, ability to go in and build visualization from that raw data to um, analytics within a matter of minutes. This is a very powerful feature that also encompasses the feature we called mixed mode or streaming data from, the, from HDFS as soon as that data is available. In this case, we can see that the MapReduce is still running in the background, but although the MapReduce is still running, we already have the ability to see subset of the data. Um, we can also kill the job, and then if for very long jobs, let's say it's a five-hour job, and we getting the wrong results, we can stop the job and then supply a hunk with a different job without the need to wait for five hours then see this is the wrong result hunk capability to be very interactive tool is a very powerful feature we can also see the actual jobs running you can tell that actually i just the job before this one i killed because it was the wrong job this job is still running and we have several successful jobs that we just let it finish all the way through. And since Hunk is built on top of Splunk 6, we can see analytics and visualization that includes dashboard. In this case, we have the predict command. We can look at some very nice visualization, charting and graphs. Uh, Hunk fully support mapping out of the box. A D3 visualization on the right side here can be all pulled from Hadoop directly to the Splunk UI using what I just described as truly a very iterative environment. In this particular dashboard, we have a D3 visualization that allows us to do analytics based in this particular case on the English Premier League, raw HDFS data to a very nice visualization is part of the um, Hunk interface. Hunk is a very powerful platform that allows the ability of users to explore, analyze, visualize, and build dashboard, and of course, cache the results, share the results, um, apply access control on top of data in HDFS, index it, give you a stream data very quickly so you can see a preview of the data and give you this kind of infrastructure to give you an end-to-end -end visualization and analytics on top of Hadoop.